Hey, hey, what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. All right. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming back to our channel for some more comedy reactions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, right. Bill and Neville. Well, you keep, I, think I don't we, know. I think you're trying to... That G, I think what's happening is it's in... And the G is silent. Vol. In you can hear me saying "invol." I think it's "invol." We'll see. I didn't he, say anything he, about the G. No, I know you. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just pronouncing the name and saying that. Bill it's in, I think it's "invol." I think because it seemed like I heard some of his acts. He mentioned his last name as yeah. so I'm like, oh, well, maybe the, the 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 G is silent. The E is like an I, so N and then "vol," like V A R L. "Invol." The E is like an I, I. like N. Oh, so okay. that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I don't okay. know. That's the next thing with name. So we'll Living see. Maybe hospital. he'll bring it up. All right, yeah. But uh, after you watch this, go down to the description. Check out some of the links we got down there. But for now, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, share, comment below. So let's go. Because I'm on a little drug called Percocet. <laughs> and if you've been on Percocet, you know there is no bowel movement. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I looked it up. And Percocet is a Latin word. And the definition is, we've shoved a cork in your butt and super glued your cheeks together. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I nearly had an wow, aneurysm just that. trying to fart. Wow. <laughs> so... So a couple days goes by, and if you've ever been on Percocet, you know the moment I'm about to talk about. <laughs> it's that moment you realize you can go to the bathroom, and it's the happiest day of your life. <laughs> <laughs> right? But I can't just get out of bed because my legs in this machine, and I, and I can't walk yet. So hmm. I have to call the nurse's station. <laughs> and so I go, ding. And the nurse goes, yes, Mr. Ingball, can I help you? And I said, hi. Um... <laughs> Is Christy around? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, um, no, she's down the hall with another patient. What can I help you with? And I go, and I don't want to just say I got to go poop. And I'm a comedian. They know that, so I'm trying to be funny. Yeah. So I go, yeah, um, would you just tell her I need to drop some friends at the lake? <laughs> <laughs> She said, you can't go to the lake. You haven't been discharged yet. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Just tell her the turtle's trying to get out of the pond. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, you can't have pets in the hospital. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Are you really not getting this? Yeah. So I said, no, just tell her I have to poop. And she goes, I'm sorry, you cut out. What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> I heard uh. it through my door. <laughs> All of a sudden, there I go, oh, Christy, it's Mr. Ingball. He has to poop. Oh, God. Uh. So Christy comes in all bubbly. So we're going to give it a try? <laughs> yeah. Do not be so bubbly about this. Yeah. So she gets me out of bed, and I get in my walker, and we get into the bathroom. And it's some kind of like circus bathroom. I mean, yeah. there's pipes and mm -hmm. bars and a swing and a net and a guy <laughs> selling popcorn. And, like... and she gets me seated on the toilet, and she stands there. I'm like... <laughs> I go, this ain't going to work if you're standing here. Mm -hmm. She goes, well, I can't leave the room. I go, you've got to leave the room. Mm -hmm. and she goes, I can't because you might fall off the toilet. And I go, oh, God. Mm -hmm. she says, I'm not going to fall off the toilet. I go, just stand on the other side of the door. And if I think I'm going to fall, I'll give you a precursory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then you run in and save my life. Mm -hmm. She said, all right, but I have to leave the door open, cracked open. I'm like, oh, God, whatever, just go. Because I'm afraid this feeling is going to pass. Mm -hmm. 
as we said earlier, Percocet, there is no bowel movement. But what it mm, does give you is explosive yeah. gas. Mm. And apparently, I had the bathroom with the supersonic microphone in the toilet. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time I'd pass gas, it sounded like the bombs at Normandy going, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> And every time she goes, success, I'm like, shut up! <laughs> Finally, like a BB dropped out, and I'm like, that counts, that counts. Right <laughs> so she leaves. A couple hours later, another nurse comes in and goes, okay, Mr. Ingball, it's time for you to go to therapy. The surgery doesn't hurt. The physical therapy will bring tears to your eyes. Mm. I never thought the words exercise bike would make me cry out loud, <laughs> but it did. So they come and they get me, they get me out of bed and I get in my walker. <laughs> what am I, 90? Mm. And if you've ever watched anybody with a walker walk, it makes a very distinct noise. It goes <laughs> <laughs> What I don't know is the wing of this hospital that I'm in, all they do is hip and knee replacements. Mm. So they get me out to the hallway to go to therapy and I'm walking down the hall and I'm hearing this. <laughs> and I look behind me and there's like 10 other old guys in the <laughs> we're like a senior citizen train heading to physical therapy <laughs> so we go to therapy and we're coming back and the nurse says look gentlemen if you don't want to go back to your hospital rooms you can just sit here in the common area and visit and so nobody wants to go back to their hospital room so we're all sitting around kind of a circle and there's just this awkward silence you know we've all got our walkers by our chairs and nobody's talking, and I hate that. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, i got to be the one to break this. But I don't know these guys. I don't know where they're from or what their story is. So I finally just look at the guy across, and I go, hey, man. What you in for? What, what kind of tennis balls you got on your walker? Uh oh <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And he goes, Wilson's? <laughs> Good brand, smooth ride. <laughs> 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 so finally people start talking well then naturally the conversation got to how did you end up here and I swear to you as I'm standing right here the guy to my left goes well I was in Vietnam I was a pilot my plane got shot down I took some shrapnel to the knee and it finally got so bad they had to replace it mm. Mm. the guy over here goes I used to play for the Houston Oilers and a 300 pound lineman took out my knee and it finally got so arthritic they had to replace it I'm like oh god <laughs> and then one of them goes, what about you? And I went, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he just fell. Well, boys, <laughs> I hurt mine doing the cha-cha. <laughs> 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 yeah. There's no way to make that sound tough. Yeah, nobody's going to go, ooh. <laughs> you, you keep adding on, and it just gets worse. I mean, yeah, thank God I had my leotards on, because I heard it going. <laughs> and I finally get discharged. But if you want to know what my life is like in one moment, this is it. Gail comes and gets me, and they, they wheel me downstairs to the lobby, and they give me my crutches. And I'm just getting ready to leave, and I hear this, Mr. Ingvall. And I turn around, and on the second floor balcony, it looks over to the lobby, is Christy, my nurse. And I said, hey, Chris, I just want to say thanks for everything. You know, you guys treated me really well. And she was, I forgot to tell you something. And I said, what? And she went, whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get yeah. it. I'm sorry. I missed that one. That went over my head. I don't know. Oh, I think he's talking about, I guess, when you know, you sleep under this gown, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, uh, I, I thought he was leaving maybe. the hospital for yeah. good. Yeah, he was. In his gown? No, no, I'm saying he because you seen him earlier in the gown and stuff. Oh, oh, tell you, you know, that's okay. what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. I don't know. Well, but I think okay. I, the, the G is I'm, it's in, in wrong. So it's in wrong. So I guess it is G. That's, I don't know. Math is my thing. I'm a numbers guy. But. Yeah, um, anytime you go, you, they put you under, if you're admitted, usually. If you're admitted in the hospital, sometimes you, they won't release you until you've gone to the bathroom. 
I mean, they have because, all kind of fun. You're right. They got all kind of fun because when I last time I was there, I had to. Um, there was a because he told me he said you can leave now or you can stay. So I said I just stay a little bit, make sure or whatever. So um, it's almost like getting off a cruise. You know how you get a cruise, you packed up, you're ready, and you got to wait for it. And you, it's like you're waiting and waiting to get off. It's kind of that happened if you're not already got all the paperwork in order and everything signed. They can't let you leave. Man, it's just you're sitting there for hours waiting for them to do. It. Oh, I thought that's. You were supposed to leave. Yeah, were well, they supposed to... Oh, let me... And it's just... It took me about three hours to be able to get out because I didn't do it early because it was kind of mixed up on when I was leaving or I thought you already left and all that. But, you know, it's, it's weird. But when they get you, put you in, I guess you got to have you in a wheelchair. And they just dump you in that car and wave you on. But, you know... Yeah. No, I was talking about the medication. Oh, okay. You... Yeah, med- that medication that they give you blocks your... Hmm, it, right. from using the bathroom hmm. so yeah sometimes they won't discharge you until they say nope we can't let you go until you've had a bowel uh-huh. movement so yeah because that stuff it it does it, okay you it, know it, i it constipate you. oh yeah yeah well i remember them telling me that when I, I couldn't go on solid foods because the insides wasn't still it was like kind of chilling out wasn't doing what they're supposed to do so they he listened and all nah, still once that started working then i could get solid food so that might be what they talk maybe it's kind of just down well, it was whatever. the type of surgery you had. Oh, I maybe. mean, any surgery usually. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm thinking because cause I was trying to figure out why would that stop you from. But I know in my case, that's why they were saying this. Like the in that in that case, it wasn't wasn't more. You know, your intestines and all that stuff wasn't doing what it was supposed to do at the time. It's kind of sleeping right now. That's how they put it. So once it wakes back up, then you can start getting solid foods mm-hmm. and going and everything. But that's the hospital. Living in the hospital, boy. That's you. You know, a lot of people really. You know, didn't like it. I, it was not a big deal for me. I, I, I really didn't have a big deal out of it. I, I mean, I could live anywhere. If it was rent free, I stayed there forever. <laughs> no, but uh, but that was Bill. Now we're gonna we're gonna fool it, but I think it's M. Ball. So I mean, those who know know it. And um, but um, living in hospital, y'all let us know what you think about it. We're gonna get out of here before we do. Do me a favor, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, also share. Comment below, and I do believe that's it. That's it. Thanks for listening to Sunshine Sunshine and Me.